Positive psychology is a relatively new branch of psychology that studies what is going right with the human mind and behavior and how to foster these types of well-being on a macro, group and individual level. Now there are many different definitions of positive psychology and there is quite a lot of confusion about what it is exactly. So in this video I want to share with you a couple of different definitions find out what they have in common and together try to form a definition of positive psychology that is well-rounded. Definition 1. Positive psychology is the study of conditions and processes that contribute to the optimal functioning and flourishing of people, groups and organizations. Definition 2. Positive psychology is the branch of psychology that uses scientific understanding and effective intervention to aid in the achievement of a satisfactory life, rather than just focusing on mental illnesses. Definition 3. Positive psychology studies what makes life most worth living. Definition 4. Positive psychology is the scientific study of human strengths and virtues. Definition 5. Positive psychology is the scientific and applied approach to uncovering people's strengths and promoting their positive functioning. Now there are many other definitions that people have come up with uh, for positive psychology, but I don't think it's interesting to uh, explore all of them. Rather than doing that, I think it's more interesting to find out what kind of elements these definitions have in common and to try to come to um, one solid understanding of what this field is all about. So looking at all of these definitions and different descriptions of the field, the following elements seem to appear most often. Flourishing, meaning, engagement, strength, optimal functioning, and other people or relationships. So maybe it's an interesting exercise for you to take these different elements or building blocks, if you will, and try to come up with your own definition of what positive psychology means as kind of a mental exercise. For me personally, I think the definition that I mentioned, um, positive psychology studies what makes life most worth living, which is a very common and popular definition, doesn't quite cut it because that's not all that it studies. It doesn't just study what makes life most worth living. It also studies um, a lot of different uh, branches such as uh, mindfulness, meditation, but also self-discipline, self-confidence, self-esteem. Those are also branches of positive psychology um, where a lot of um, scientific research is being done. And it doesn't necessarily contribute to meaning or what makes life most worth living, but it's more getting a scientific understanding of how we operate and navigate as human beings in the world and what makes some people excel at some things and why do they excel at those things and why do others don't and how can we foster what they are doing right in these other human beings and for me personally that's why I got into this field and that's why I'm still so passionate about it. Thanks for watching and if you're looking to explore further be sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel and download our three positive psychology exercises in the description below. See you in the next video.